In this video, I will be discussing the surgical treatment of epiretinal membrane formation, and the video should be viewed in conjunction with my other video on what is an epiretinal membrane. So, epiretinal membrane is a scar tissue on the surface of the retina, the photographic film at the back of the eye, and in particular, it usually affects the macula, the central part of the retina. In order to remove this scar tissue, we need to gain access to it, and we need to therefore remove the jelly that occupies the main eye cavity. This is an operation called a vitrectomy and is performed through three very small incisions at the front of the eye by the white of the eye through which the instruments pass. Having removed the vitreous jelly, we can then put instruments into the eye to peel away the scar tissue. This is facilitated by instilling a dye to stain up the scar tissue so we can see the scar tissue in more detail. And the first instrument is a fine pick that scratches on the edge of the scar tissue to lift it away from the retina. We then go in with fine faucets, grab hold of the edge of the scar tissue and peel it off the surface of the retina. Now sometimes the scar tissue peels off in a single sheet, which is gratifying for both me the surgeon and for you the patient. Occasionally the scar tissue can be more adherent and comes away piecemeal. So there is a variability in terms of the actual technique of removing the scar tissue and unfortunately there is also a variability in the success of surgery. In approximately 80% of patients there is a significant improvement in vision or distortion of vision uh, and patients find it very gratifying. But it is certainly not like cataract surgery where you can almost guarantee 98% uh, success rate with surgery. Having removed the scar tissue, sometimes the retina tears or when the jelly is being removed, the retina can also tear. And if this occurs, we have to apply laser treatment to surround the, ret the retinal tear and also instill a gas bubble to stop the retina from detaching. Most patients, however, with this form of surgery do not require a gas bubble. If you remove scar tissue with the vitrectomy and the membrane peeling procedure, you will almost inevitably develop a cataract. So as part of my routine technique, I also remove the lens at the same time as the uh, jelly and the scar tissue so that you do not have to come back for further surgery. If you have extensive scar tissue, I may in that situation remove the lens at a later date as this requires uh, greater manipulations to the back of the eye. There is about a one in a thousand risk of infection or haemorrhage with any eye operation and a one in 10,000 chance of severe complications making the vision worse. The improvement in vision following this form of surgery tends to be gradual and can improve up until uh, nine months following surgery, although most of the improvement occurs within the first two months. The eye can feel gritty after the operation due to some stitches, but it is only a mild discomfort and usually settles very well and normally drops are instilled for six to eight weeks and we suggest seeing the optician to get the glasses updated three months after surgery.